He's always almost getting assassinated. Who you know who does it better than this? I'm the boy who done did it. I'm on top of the list. Trying to get a good signal like a satellite dish. Every day to me. It's like a solar eclipse. Uh -oh. What's up, y'all? So that King Geek here. Welcome to my channel. Watch to dive right into Book of Boba. Episode 3, Chapter 3. Uh, it's an interesting way of telling the story by showing us flashbacks of probably where we left him in the movies to catch him up where he ended up being in the series. Um, I don't know if people love that way of storytelling because I'm way behind, so I'm staying away from social media talks around the show. Um, so, but I'm enjoying it. I'm just stating it out there. I'm really enjoying it, even though there are some characters that they don't name drop that seem very important and seem like they've been in the Star Wars mythology before that I have no idea who they are. But um, let's not waste any more time and just dive right into the third episode. Like and subscribe. Are we finally going to see the Rancor this episode? Are you going to deal with the twins? Because I expected the showdown to happen last episode, but... There ended up being a whole train sequence. Lucasfilms. This is a shot from the trailer. Getting a quick history lesson. Damn, so he has to get some people on his side. The ruling doesn't seem fun. One respects him? This show is very political. Fascinating. So he deals in water. Gang. I wonder how much fuel is in the Star Wars world. There's half men, half machine? Like Darth Vader? A lot of walking scenes in the show. But the score is still undefeated. Look at them, the cool teenagers. Damn. Their designs are cool though. Are they ready? You just hired them? 1300 credits. Look at how excited they are. They got cool bikes too? Oh shit. Oh. Hey! Every time this opening starts, I lose my shit. Hey! <laughs> God damn. These establishing shots. More flashbacks. They should win all the awards for the score alone. <laughs> bottom, bottom. Is he looking for his armor? Who's that? That's a massive ass horse. <laughs> the Pike Syndicate. Protection arrangement at speed of my game. Damn, he has to fight for his corner. <laughs> you think there'll be like a compilation of people? Putting together all his traveling montages. Did they kill the sand people? Oh shit. Yo. It's time for war, I suppose. Damn, you hear that score though? Oh shit. What killed them? Oh fuck, it's those outlaws. Oh, he took the bikes from. Damn. Lone Ranger again. Damn. He's always almost getting assassinated. Why don't you have somebody guarding you, fam? You threw him next to his shed pack. Ooh. Ooh, he still got the stick. God damn. This fight is making so much noise. Where's the backup? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Did this spine just get broken? Oh shit. It's about time you guys showed up. Ooh. Yo. This creature is a problem, goddamn. Oh shit. Are they gonna capture it in that? Oh my god. Is one of the twins gonna die? I knew they were gonna capture it. Oh shit. How many times is this dude gonna heal until the flashbacks are over, I suppose? You gotta twist the. teach the twins a lesson. Twins? What am I saying? The twins. 
have some food. News travels fast in this neighborhood. They brought a gift that soon? Do the twins also have to ask permission to kill him? God damn. It's a massive ass creature. Is that the machete? Ha <laughs> ha! I haven't seen this dude in a minute. Something you should know? We both lied to you. Spineless mayor. God damn. This was a quick war for them. They legit almost killed each other. Did they just become friends? <laughs> so it was that creature that were threatening that other dude with. It makes sense. It's huge. Give them a depressed creature. Is it legit by the imprint? Is it like a giant puppet? What's happening? I think it likes all that is what it's a giant dog. But they form Spot the imprint. There you go, you have a giant dog. We're about to get a, see a showdown between the mayor. Not a walk sequence. This dude is gonna die horribly, I have a feeling. Sensitive. As horribly as Disney Plus can so make it, I suppose. The mayor escaped. He's running away. Where's the mayor? Oh, this Troy is about to feel the bus. Run, Droid! Lucky Droid. Yeah. Damn. I didn't think we'll get it like a full on car chase. Oh shit! These kids really love their job! <laughs> God damn! Ooh! Oh! That's unfortunate. I have a feeling he's gonna think he got away, then like. Boba's gonna catch him. Damn! Who directed this episode? Damn! I see why she leads her team. <laughs> She's relentless. Ooh. Where is he? He's gonna show up with his chat pack last minute. He's working with the pikes. Look at that ship. Who's arriving? Oh shit. These people are back. What did he do to the pikes? Outside of the train situation. Oh, it's Robert. Robert directed this. No wonder. Huh? <laughs> uh, interesting episode. I got a little distracted by personal stuff, but I, I still enjoyed the episode. Um, hmm, interesting development. This one had flashbacks, but it was more focused on the present. The previous one was full was a whole flashback with with an opening of the pr of the present like the way they telling the story is so unorthodox but i'm still here for it still here for it the pacing needs a little work there's a lot of people walking around riding animals or doing some stuff if it's not a cool car chase or cool vehicles doing some cool ass shit it's not that engaging, but the score, oh my god, the score for the show. Big ups. Big ups, they know what they're doing behind the scenes with the music. Anyway, I gotta watch Peacemaker. Deuces. You know what I'm saying?